Hello guys, my name is Samarpan Dasgupta and today is the part 22 of Flutter social media chat app generation tutorial 2021. In that video, we are going to see about sent and receive location messages. So we work with location UI in one of the previous video. The link in the description, please check it out if you don't see that video because that video the current video will be extension of that video where we make about that location ui so and guys please don't forget to check my previous video the link in the description because current video linked with the previous video so without wasting any time let's get started so guys now we are going to do the split code for location messages sent and received as you know after the split code i will understand you step by step what i done in that split code one more thing if you not see the previous video please see the previous video at first then see the current video because current video will take the reference from the previous video so it's my recommendation to look at the previous video at first the previous video link in the description check it out so i am going to start finally the split code So guys, the split code for send and receive location messages is totally done. Now as usual, I am going to show you the demo of that code make in the split code. Then I will understand you step by step what I done in the split code as usual. So guys, let's first see the demo. So guys, in the left side of the screen, you can see a device which is the physical device and in the right side in the as the virtual device as you know so here i want to choose a location from the virtual device so i clicked on that so as this is the virtual device it is by default showing uh, the google multiplex location that is the google headquarter location in the mountain view so i want to send it from that virtual device to that physical device okay so i click on that send icon please take a clear look so it is sending the location so in the left side you can see the location is already come in our physical device so let's try it from the our physical device as well so i click on that link and click location button so actually in that left side in the this is showing my uh, real location my actual location so i want to send it so i click on that send button so in the left side you can see we send the location and in the virtual device you can see the location is came and it is showing so this is the google multiplex location and this is sent from the virtual device and this is received in the virtual device this is my real location okay 
so it is work totally fine now we are going to understand what we done in the split code step by step so guys when we click in that link button and then you can see in that rounded circle the location button will be appear so that the location button denoting that selected portion in that code base okay so if you see my previous tutorials you can uh, understand that we already imply that all the step in one of the previous video so that's the selected person is uh, uh, presented when we uh, want to work with the location ui as well okay so please see that video in that tutorial so let's come to that method take location input so in that method take location input uh, all those things except on press method we imply in that video where we imply about location ui okay so i put the video link uh, in the description please check it out so let's understand from the on pressed method so that two lines we imply in that video where we imply about that location ui so let's understand from here so in that on pressed method i understand you from here that selected portion under on pressed method is similar to the same text method okay so under take location input method that selected portion under on pressed method callback uh, it is almost similar with same text method just some property change what about change so here you can see in that under same text here we use chat message types dot text but here we use chat message types dot location so here also here we use in the same text uh, this dot type text dot text to take uh, the text written in the text field and here we use position dot latitude plus position dot long uh, longitude so here we take the position from geolocator dot get current uh, position so we take the latitude and longitude uh, with concatenate with plus as a string format and then provided the value as a message time just as usual and then we provided uh, the chat message category holder for the uh, same text we provided chat message type dot text here we provided chat message type dot location and as usual conversation message holder false uh, this will uh, add it to the right page okay and then in the same text method you can see there is a uh, method for local database dot insert message in user table i also imply that method in that on press method here what we change only change actual message is changed to the position dot latitude plus position dot longitude concatenate with plus and then uh, chat message types uh, dot location from chat message types dot text so you can see in that on press method it is almost similar to the same text method that we imply in one of the previous video just chat message type dot text is changed to chat message types dot location and the actual message in the same text was uh, these dot type text dot text to take the text field message using that controller but here that changed to the position dot latitude plus position dot longitude uh, concatenate with plus okay so this is all about the same location to the other devices now we take the code for the receive location messages so come back here so in the previous video you can see when we imply uh, that uh, video conversation message receive we uh, make that me uh, method passing with chat message types dot video right we see that in the previous video so i don't explain it here we take that another condition if that uh, message type is change uh, chat message types dot location if the receive message is the location type then we switch to that method manage incoming location messages and passing the key value 
as you know what key value i am meaning here because i explain what that key value in uh, meaning of that by like, previous video so please look at the previous video if you not see it so come here so here we meet a method manage incoming location messages and that manage incoming location messages almost similar to that method manage incoming text messages which is just below of that method okay so what we change what the difference actually between two methods here i change the formal argument name from text message to the location message and we change from chat message types dot text to chat message types dot location and except that two things that method manage incoming location messages almost similar with that method message incoming text messages only two things change formal parameter name change and chat message type dot text change to chat message type just location that's all about send and receive location messages so guys if you like my video please don't forget to like comment share and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the updates of next video of that tutorial and guys please comment out if my video my explanation is fruitful for you or not your feedback is very much important for me so guys that's all for today have a nice day bye bye